Bonjour and welcome to Disneyland Paris. I am Andrew Freund and I will be your host today, taking you inside the completely reimagined Disneyland Paris Hotel. And what's really cool is not only is this the hotel, but it's also the entrance to the park itself. Now, all 487 guest rooms have been completely reimagined into a royal theme, but you know what? Less talking, more looking. Let's go. Welcome to the Grand Lobby here at the Disneyland Hotel in Disneyland Paris, which as you can see is inspired by the great French libraries found in French castles. Now at the centerpiece of the lobby is the Grand Chandelier, which features over 12,000 pieces, 447 stars, and right in the middle, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Oh, I didn't even hear you knock, but welcome to the Frozen Suite here at the Disneyland Hotel Paris one of 15 signature suites here in the hotel. And as you can see, this room is decked out in everything frozen. From the clock we can see right here, and also as you can see, this gorgeous window, of course, in the frozen blue and white. But here we have this beautiful fireplace and a portrait of Elsa and Anna. Now, the story behind this is because the sisters were separated in the film, you open this cabinet to reveal a television and you close it to bring the sisters back together. Now, the piece de resistance in this room is my bedroom. And I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. As you can see, it's extremely understated, but we have the gorgeous canopy. Of course, this portrait, this frozen portrait right here, this beautiful vanity over here. And as you can see, even the woodwork is very fine detailed in the frozen theme. Also, all, you know, all very Nordic theme, blues, the color of the red on the chair, and in the bathroom, come over here, full sink and tub, toilet, we have, oh, that's, wait, that's the shower, sorry. Actually, it's a very big shower, large shower. But if you come over here, this is everyone's favorite. It's a blue walk-in closet. Welcome to my room. After a long day at the parks, there's no better way to unwind and relax than right here at the Crystal Pool. And as you can see, this gorgeous pool is inspired by French greenhouses. And let me just tell you, I took a dip yesterday and it was quite refreshing. Now, there are many grand spaces within the hotel, which include many royal details. As you can see right here is an abstract crown. We're standing in the Great Rotunda. But if you come right over here, you can see even more details from the furniture, from the carpeting. The piece de resistance, if we look up, is this stunning royal blue roof highlighted in fleur-de-lis inspired by French castles, and I'm about to speak to the woman in charge of the entire design. All right, guys, I am here with Sylvie, one of the Imagineers responsible for this incredible hotel. Sylvie, first of all, congratulations. I'm absolutely blown away by everything I've seen so far, and you, you and your team have done an incredible job. But first, tell people what they can expect. What are the new things people can expect with this re-envisioned hotel? So it's really a transformation of the hotel. It's really uh, an immersion in a royal story. This beautiful lobby with this beautiful uh, sculpture lighted with our castle. So really the theme of the castle and the royalty is everywhere in the hotel and it's a reconstruction, a reimagination of all the detail in the hotel. So every space depends on the culture and the period of time of different castles. So the lobby, it's about the library also, that you have a library in the castle and this natal stories. So you have really a lot of stories in the lobby to, to discover and to enjoy. After here, for example, we are in suites and we have signature suites and you choose what you would like to have as an own story because finally you have so different stories in the suites as here you are in a sleeping uh, sleeping beauty suite where you find armors where you find the the dress of sleeping beauty is a this gorgeous color, mural this behind gorgeous us gorgeous mural and all it, the atmosphere immersive of stone of a castle and that's really i'm proud of 
being an Imagineer and to see all the details because it's really important for us to go in details in each part of the hotel, in each part of the suite to be immersive for the guests. So that's really my goal and that will be new for this hotel. And how long did this take? How many days, how many years, the, uh, the manpower, how many people? So it's a, it's a lot of time because it's a, it begins with the concept and after the design. So it takes more or less two years of development since the beginning of the brainstorming, the concept and all the details of design. And after one year to go to bid and to find who will be this because we work with a lot of vendors, but also a lot of Handware and a lot of uh, art people that uh, artisans, art men, people that uh, works uh, in uh, in detail. So it takes one year and two years of building it because we went really to to concrete. So we destroy everything because it's not only the decor; it's also the technique. We went with to replace all the air conditioning, all the plumbing, or everything. So we went to concrete walls and we rebuilt a new hotel finally. So in total, it's five years. Five years. And as someone who's worked in this business, do you think that people's tastes have changed over the years? What What do people want now when they come to a place like this? They want to have an emotion, I think. That's very important. Yeah. And when I saw the first guests coming in the hotel, that was, I have an impression to, to, to get from them. So that was, I was really happy for this. So they won't change, but also to, to have the sense of the story, to have the sense of what you find in Disney, which is uh, really special. Last question. What's next? Oh, next. I don't know yet, but I will have some, some design to do, to do, and we go on designing things. One more question because I just thought, are you personally able to enjoy your creation or are you, if you walk around here, you're like, uh, that needs to get, I need to, can you disassociate at all? Uh, I can and I do the both. Uh, I mean, I can enjoy it and when I see things coming out from the decoration and say, wow, that's nice. That's what I have in mind. And when I see my first concept, so that's nice to see it coming through. But also sometimes I see details that I have to fix, but that's normal. That's my uh, experience to get onto details and to, to finish exactly what I would like to have for guests. Mm. All right, that's a wrap. But when you come to Disneyland Paris, look for Sylvie. <laughs> Thank you.